Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, I'm tracking a couple of chances for rain over the next three days. The next uh, chance coming up for tomorrow. In the meantime, we're, uh, we're cool and dry this evening after a real nice day. Enough sunshine to get temps uh, seasonable in the upper 40s. Topped out at 49 in Providence. Upper 40s in Newport and Smithfield coming in at 45 this afternoon with that sunshine. Take a look at live pictures down in Narragansett. Beautiful evening. You can see the lights from the uh, Newport Pell Bridge off in the distance. So no weather problems for this evening. After midnight, there may be a couple of sprinkles but the evening looks dry. Westport is cooler right now, coming in at 39, while in Warwick, uh, slightly milder with clear skies and a temp at 45. So this is what we're tracking, uh, dry weather for this evening, especially the, the first half of the night. Uh, that rain coming up on Thursday, it looks like the heaviest of the rain, meaning downpours and even some thunderstorms, from the window of roughly 10 o'clock in the morning through 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now, on either side of that, there'll be some showers, but this, I think, is when the core of some of the heavier rain will come in, some ice thunder and that certainly will have an impact on travel uh, so take it slow on the roads reduce visibility and then rain coming up for part not all but part of the weekend we'll show you that in the seven day future cast outside of a sprinkle towards the cape uh, we are dry this evening our system that we're tracking is still off to our west you can see the heavier clouds through upstate new york so this will arrive during the overnight and we're watching a storm system which is spinning through the great lakes and ahead of it a strong cold front and out ahead of this front you see the showers and even some thunderstorms it's a very narrow ribbon of heavy rain, so that's why we have that narrow window from late morning into the early afternoon hours, and quite simply, that's headed our way for tomorrow. Out ahead of it, gusty wind and milder temperatures, even though we're, we're seasonably cool right now. Temperatures briefly tomorrow, making it uh, to the lower 50s. Now, let me walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening, and again, it looks fine. Initially, we're clear. This is 7 o'clock in the evening. Watch the clock. We'll take you through the overnight. Clouds increasing. Now, late at night after midnight, this is 3 o'clock in the morning, perhaps a couple of sprinkles temperatures in the upper 30s uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I wouldn't rule out a few showers I just don't expect any downpours for the morning commute but roads may be damp uh, temperatures in the upper 40s and then here we go the front arrives and there's that narrow ribbon of heavy rain and thunderstorms this is noontime Connecticut Rhode Island border Take it to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Here it is. And moving it to southeastern Mass. Note the temperatures in the 50s. And then by 4 o'clock, most of it's gone. So we're left with a few random showers behind that uh, by late day and early evening. Then tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, we're clearing out with the wind picking up and drier air coming in. So for tomorrow morning, Looking at a couple of showers. I think the rain arriving after 8 o'clock in the morning. Temperature starting off well above freezing at 43. And again, it's from roughly late morning. I would say... You know, like a couple of hours on either either side of noontime, the best chance for those downpours, and even the rumble of thunder, and that's reflected in the future cast for tomorrow afternoon with temperatures in the lower 50s. An isolated shower by this time tomorrow evening. By this time, most of the widespread rain is gone. Maybe a lingering shower here and there, and then drying out for your Thursday night. This sets the stage for blustery, dry, and cool weather on Friday. More rain on Saturday, but tell you what, Saturday morning looks dry. Even early afternoon should be dry. I'm thinking it's a late day, especially Saturday night. And then it's out of here early on Sunday morning with clearing skies, breezy and cool, temperature at 49. And that sets the stage for dry, cool weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week with daytime highs in the 40s and nights in the upper 20s to uh, lower 30s. So um, strong cold front tomorrow. Some downpours for a little bit and even some thunderstorms. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphone and on your tablets as well. So heading out, maybe lunchtime, running some errands and things like that. Uh, take it slow to come down hard for a while. The good news is my car could use the a wash. wash. The wash. <laughs> yeah. In Mother Nature's version. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tony.